So this is replacing the oil pressure sensor on a 2017 Kenworth T680, I believe it is, or 660, I don't know. Anyway, it's located on the driver's side of the engine behind the alternator. Um, you definitely have to remove the alternator to get to it. Uh, they say there's a special tool to get that twist lock off, but it just twists and unlock. It's not unlike any other sensor, like an ABS sensor. Uh, once I got the alternator off, I could get a socket to it. Uh, it has to be a deep uh, socket, but this deep socket I have here is three inches long. And I had another uh, 3 8 drive. This is half inch drive. Uh, and this is impact. But I had a 3 8 uh, smaller socket and it, neither one would fit. It was, it was wanting to hit the air conditioner line here. So I ended up having to take this bracket off, which is just like five bolts. And there's one, well, four bolts that hold it on and there's one bolt that holds a uh, wire harness on. Uh, take that off and then I was able to get the open end of a wrench to just break it loose. Uh, it's not on there very tight at all, so uh, even the box end wouldn't fit on there because of the uh, the block here has got a little lip on it. Ingenious design. Anyway, so uh, put the sensor on and we're going to fire it up in a little bit. This truck was having a problem with the oil pressure reading 40 whenever you switch it on and it goes to 100 when you crank it up. So I don't know if this is going to take care of the issue or not, but this is what the owner wanted to try. So um, we're going to see. I did not disconnect the uh, batteries when I did this because it's got a little cover over the positive post on the alternator. And even though it's got a little metal in there, I, you know, it's not going to hit anything. So I felt safe doing that. Uh, and we'll see.